Alright, how's it going guys? I'm not an ace trainer. We are back for episode number two of our Pokemon White randomized Nuzlocke. You guys came through with the like goal and so we are here. We are here. We're just gonna go at it. We're going straight into this episode. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys leave a like down below as we go through this tutorial with Professor Juniper. Are you serious? Phone. Okay, we're back. The amount of people that call me on my house phone is freaking ridiculous. So we start the tour. We already know what's going on here. Ew, wait for me. Like, oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was really elongated. Wow. Okay, it's absolutely free. Now, how does that work? I don't know if we wanted to get... I don't know if we want to get to... Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Do I have to? I want to talk about my team. I want to talk about... Because we did some training. Obviously, I told you we trained up Russia. I want to call... I want to call it Mother Russia, but it's a boy. So, Father Russia? How does that work? Um, oh God. Okay. So, I'm going to let you know right now. Um, I'm recording this the Thursday of Comic-Con. Obviously, I'm not going. I'm going for the three-day. If you guys don't know, there's a New York Comic-Con happening that... Or that did happen in from October 6th to October or something. I don't freaking know. I don't know dates. I don't know anything like that. But yeah, hopefully I had a good time because <laughs> I'm talking to myself in the future. Don't don't judge me. All right, so she says I have to go meet Fennel over in Striaton City and blah, blah, blah. What we do need to do is we need to stock up on Pokeballs because I'm gonna let you guys know right now, we are getting another encounter in this episode. So let's, ooh, we got bank. All right, let's not do that. Let's get 10. Let's get 10. And give me a premier ball. That is perfectly fine. And then we'll stock up on potions as well. And one more Pokemon off the bat. And we are flat broke, everybody. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the team to see what we are working with today. See, everybody's all leveled up here. We got Russia. We got Father Russia, level 8. Uh, same moveset, obviously, with Tackle, Withdraw, um, Absorb, and Razor Leaf. And we got Reptar, the Bay Leaf, with Tackle, Growl, Razor Leaf, and Poison Powder. So we're just gonna, yeah. The Nuzlocke started, we got potions, we got Pokeballs. I think we are good to go. I think we're raring to go. I just wanna get my encounter. I just wanna progress. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. <laughs> Let's have a little look-see. Oh, this is- oh, I know what this is. Oh my god, Team Plasma, enter. Ace, come here a sec. I don't know what voice I'm gonna give Charon. I have no idea. Oh god, this is Getsis, wait. Um... My- wait, fuck. <laughs> I'm really bad. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. I am terrible with voice acting and all that. My name is Getsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners and have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are, wait, when they are our partners at work. Can, can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? I'm trying to do an evil voice, but I really can't. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rock with it. I'm just gonna do Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are, hum are different from humans. Pokemon are humans. What? Full of everything. <laughs> they are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from who we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is the responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right! We must liberate the Pokémon! Then, and only then, will human and Pokémon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today to, by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokémon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. And just like that, these organized as fuck Team Plasma members go off and do their thing. Oh, shoot. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? Is that even possible? Oh, boy. Oh, my God. And then enter my boyfriend. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. This man right here. Him? He's my boyfriend. Fight me. <laughs> um, your Pokemon, 
just now it was saying. Slow down, you talk too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna give him like, I'm gonna give him like a, a sonic voice. What's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name's Sharon, and this is Ace. We were asked to complete the Pokedex. We just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Ace, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Yes! Give me this music! Rich Kid N. Oh boy. Yo, Curlia! We got a Curlia again! Curlias are haunting us. Alright, Russia. Let's go. So we got Trace. You Trace the Overgrow, but I don't think you have any grass type moves. That's not really gonna help you much. Um, I don't know what hits more. I'm not gonna underestimate this, this Curlia real quick. Um, let me see. 20? 55. I think we're going with Razor Leaf. <laughs> Jeez. Let's do it. Uh, bye! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, Russia. You're clearly showing that you got the work. You can, you can do it, man. Can we... I was gonna say, can we get another level? I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. I'm gonna go really close to my spoink. And... <laughs> <laughs> as long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon, because they are my friends. And he just leaves straight up. Huh, strange guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Shrides and City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. Best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Whoa, I'm Sonic, and I go fast. <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. All right. So I see. I see this guy putting in the work here. I'm gonna put Reptar out in front though, because if we get an encounter, I don't want to destroy it immediately. I'm gonna miss this music though. It sounds so nice and tranquil, like nothing happens here. All right, so we are here. Let's do it. Oh shoot! Uh, okay, we're not getting an encounter. <laughs> uh oh, it's oh it's mom. Ace, it's your mom. How are things? You and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called. But I'm going to hang up the X the cross transceiver now. I keep saying X transceiver, but it's not that. Ace. I finally caught up with you. Look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you would probably be headed for the strut into the city by now. I have another present for you, Ace. Try these on. Bruh! Give me those. When you're wearing the running shoes, you could go anywhere in a flash. And then I know the instructions, hold B to go and stuff like that. Oh shoot, I just realized that items are randomized. So that item right there might not be a potion. It might be because something else. Can we get to this item? Max potion. Okay, give me that. I'm I'm all for it. All right. So, all right, we're gonna look for an encounter now. I'm gonna turn away. First encounter is. Oh no, is that Chingling? <laughs> Yo, the reason why I turned my head is because like I like to test my my Pokemon knowledge and stuff like that. Oh boy, a Chingling. Fantastic. Can we tackle this thing without killing it? We can. It knows rap. Stupendous. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So I think one more tackle should bring it down with please don't crit, Reptar. Control yourself. Thank you. All right. So now we can catch this thing. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about Chingling. I think I can make some use of it. We can do something. Or er, Reptar. Let's try Premier Ball, why not? Premier Balls never work, guys. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Premier Balls never work. I'll be shocked. I will be shocked. <laughs> it never works. They give you a free Premier Ball and it never works. Never, it never fails. Alright, Changling, come on. Get your stuff together. All you know is rap, dude. Ugh, that's gonna be annoying. We're gonna have to switch train this guy. I don't even know Chingling's like moveset. 
Oh, jeez. One. Oh, come on. Really? You're gonna really make me waste potions now, dude? Can't even poison powder it or anything. I gotta be careful. Even though it's taking down one HP at a time, you just gotta crit just now. Come on, Chingling. Chingling, get it together. <laughs> Hopefully we can get another encounter. One, two... Come on, just get in. Thank you. Just like... <laughs> I think I know exactly what to name this guy. So it's the bell Pokemon. When uh, There is an orb inside its mouth. When it hops, the orb bounces all over and makes a ringing sound. Aw, how cute. Alright, so given the name to Chingling, I'm literally gonna name it um, Liberty. From the Liberty Bell. Makes sense. So... Uh... I forgot how to spell liberty for a second. Liberty. Stupendous. So we have a chingling. Are you modest? Are you something good? You're modest! <laughs> what? And it knows levitate. Are you kidding me? That's a great nature. You. Wow. Uh, great. Fantastic. Um, I'm gonna heal you up real quick. Thank you. Oh, wait. And then heal this guy up. I'm gonna put Liberty in the front. I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna use it for, like, switch training purposes and stuff like that. So, let's put you here. And, yeah, let's rock out. We face our first trainer. Again, everything's randomized, so let's see what we can do here. This is exciting. Trainer catches another trainer's eye at the start of a Pokemon battle. Fantastic. Are you gonna be a youngster? Scribe Liliana. Stupendous. A Litwick. Alright, all we we, <laughs> we can rock out with that. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys know right now, with this whole preparation for Comic-Con thing, I'm like really stressed. I'm like just gonna talk out of my ass right now since we're just like battling and stuff like that. But I am shocked that you guys came through with the like goal. 30 likes on the first day of episode 1? That's amazing. Really, dude? You had to poison me? Litwick. Really? Ugh, that's annoying. Alright, raise the leaf it up. Even though it's not gonna be very effective. Yeah. Astonish? That's fine. You, you're gonna have to do a lot better than that if you're gonna beat me, dude. Even though this poison, I'm not happy with it. But one more hit should take you out. Oh, no. Really? You're really gonna minimize? You're really gonna use these strats on me? Really, Litwick? Can we hit this? Oh, you know Fire Spin. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Let's play smart. Let's play smart because this Litwick is not playing any games. Let's heal up real quick and I can't switch because of the Fire Spin, so that's kind of lame. Smog, and we we dodge, we dodge in those. We're as big as a freaking continent. But it, okay, we're not gonna heal. We're as big as a continent, but we can still dodge. Come on, dude, really? So not only do we have regular damage, but we have poison damage and fire spin damage. Are we serious? I have to heal again. Really? Can you just land one freaking razor leaf, please? Oh no. What is this? Yo, literally guys, this is my luck. This is my luck right here. What you're seeing right now is my luck in Nuzlocke's. Why has this happened to me? Razor Leaf. Connect! Thank you! What the hell? Now I think I have to go back and heal and stuff. Ugh. That's annoying. And li Liberty didn't even level up from that. What kind of garbage? Alright, so now we have to go back and heal. Jeez. I was curious to find out what else we could have gotten in that grass, but I mean, it's not really a big deal. We got a Chingling, and it's modest! Come on now. Can I get through the door? <laughs> Jeez. Good job, me. Wow. So, first trainer's Pokemon was a Litwick who had Fire Spin, Smog, of course the poison hits. I think it's like a 20% chance for, it to, for the poison to hit. Of course it gets that. Minimize. People are just love to, you know, just mess with me. 
All right, so we got the running shoes, so we can go a little bit faster now. Let us make our way over to Striaton City, and hopefully we get another encounter? Not sure. Let's go. All right. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this, honestly. You know what? I don't know if I want to put another light goal on this. Oh, I think we get another item. We got two items. A nugget. Yo, we could sell that for cash dollars. For all the cash monies. Another max potion. Oh, okay. Oh, well, let's see what else we could have gotten. Oh, well, it's the Chingling again. So this is the common encounter. Come on, Chingling. Can you run from this guy? And you wrapped. Oh no why did I do that <laughs> oh my god are you kidding are you kidding wow I literally have to waste po potions now oh jeez. oh no well um I'm gonna cut the video until we until something interesting happens oh wait I was free from the rap just now Let's switch. Heck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna lose this Chingling and along with my freaking, uh, with my, um, with my potions. Like, really? I don't care if you rap Russia. I'm gonna wreck you. You miss? Come on, dude. Is Razor Leaf not really that accurate? What kind of garbage is this? I don't want to go for Absorb because it's like, it's a low, I don't even know. Get out of here. Jeez. And you learned Growl. Nice and powerful Growl. Alright, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Oh no. Oh, I forgot about this. Well. <laughs> Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle, please. The Pokemon I caught has become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Yes. Uh, all right, freaking Thomas. Oh my god, I forgot about this. I forgot about the rival battle. Gulpin. Okay. Stupendous. Um, so we need to switch you out immediately. Go for Russia. I'm going for Russia just because it's level 10. He has that bulk. And yeah, you can just like wreck lives. Yawn. Oh my god. Why? Nope. We're not doing this. We are not playing this game. Reptar. We are not playing this game. Nope. Absolutely not. You think you're going to play this game with me? You think you're going to play this game with me? Nope. <laughs> I am not dealing with any hack shenanigans. Absolutely not. Is that all you know? Yawn? I wonder if that's all this gold pin knows. I'm like really curious. Are you gonna go for anything else, dude? There you go, you go for pound. All right, tackle. Can you wreck this thing to oblivion, please? Nope. That's the thing, that, that Rush is the harder hitter. Uh, Reptar is more like a like a Stallmon, you know? Very bulky, but not that not that strong. Come on, Gulpin. Don't give me problems. Do not give me problems. Can you get wrecked? Can you get wrecked, please? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't I didn't plan for a freaking Really, Thomas? Really, Thomas? Really? You're gonna use a potion right now. Stop with that nonsense. Get out of here. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, what do you what do you have next? Mime Jr. That's fine. I'm gonna bring in Liberty out first though, because I still wanna I still wanna level him up. Is Liberty a boy or a girl? It would make sense if it was a boy. Yeah, alright, cool. Aw, look at Mime Jr. Okay, this little one. Okay, this little one's up next. Yes, Starbucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, what do you got for me, Mime Junior? 
barrier. Wow, you have that that early in the game, dude? It's okay, I'm gonna hit you with a special move. Can you get bopped, please? That was a crit! Russia! Yo, you're coming through. Alright. Oh, I couldn't win. No, it sucks. Woohoo! You're a tough cookie, Ace. I'm gonna work hard on training my Pokemon so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye-bye. Peace out. Like, can I freaking, like, can I move on? I just want to get a new encounter. Where do you get the encounter? Oh, wait, no, I think it, it's in the dream yard, but I don't think... I have to battle, like, two trainers in order to get to that gift Pokemon. I really want it, though. I think I might do that here in this episode. I'm gonna do it. I know we're 20, like, about 20 minutes in or something like that, but... I just want this encounter. So two trainers, and then the encounter, and then we can move on. So come at me, girl. Come here. Bring that ass over here. Bring it. All right, sorry. I'm like really hyper. I don't know, for some reason, I'm in such good spirits today. Um, one of my really good Tumblr friends is coming um, from upstate New York, and he's gonna be coming down. So once I'm done with the recording, I'm gonna head over there. And we have, as we have a Gothita, yo. I love Gathira. Do you see the design? I think Gathira looks amazing. Honestly. Alright, Russia. Show Gathira. Who's... I don't even know. Pound? You're gonna pound me, my dude? Alright, that's fine. Let's razor leaf it up. Let's bop. Let's bop this guy. Tickle. Aw. You're cute. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. Get bopped. Just like that. All right. Getting all that experience. Diglett? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me not switch into Liberty because I think Diglett has Arena Trap. What the hell? Oh, it just like popped out of the ground. Aw. Sand attack, dude. I'm pretty sure Diglett has Arena Trap. So if I switched into Chingling, Chingling would have had to deal with this Diglett. And I am not about that. I'm sorry. Chingling is a frail, frail little baby compared to the two monsters that we have on the screen right now. So, look at Absorb coming through, taking out this Diglett, like no problem. All right. I kind of want to bring in Reptar because I feel like Russia's leveling up too much, but I'm, I don't know, I'm scared. I fear for my life, not really. All right, one more trainer to go, and then I think it's this person right there with the blue hair that is going to give us the the static encounter. But this does not count as the encounter for this dream. Scribe Veronica. That's my name. <laughs> Bruh. All right, a ladybug. I think Bayleaf can definitely handle that. Um. So yeah, that this static encounter that we're gonna get, this does not count as the encounter for Dream Yard because we have not touched any grass or any water or anything like that. It's like a gift Pokemon. Someone gave that to me. So yeah. All right. We can take down this Ladybug. Let's poison powder it. Can we hit it? Yo, Reptar. Reptar showing that he's the leader. Like, you know how in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, whatever, Leonardo's the leader. Then we have Raphael. Like, Russia, the Torterra, is Raphael, and Reptar is the leader of the group. He's Leonardo. I shouldn't name them that, to be honest. I've been in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mood, also. I watched that new movie that came out, and I was like, oh, it's amazing! Alright, Ladybug, get bopped. Jesus. Oh, you didn't level up from that? Now Liberty's caught up with you. Timpole. Alright, I'm gonna stay in. I hate not okay. I'm gonna stress that I love all Pokemon, but this design. Do you see Timpo right now? <laughs> it's one of those things. Oh, Supersonic, really? It's one of those things that I'm just like, really, Game Freak. You went with this. Please don't hit yourself. Thank you. Reptar, just come through and just put in the work. Get on out of here. Oh my god. That's amazing. That's amazing. Jigglypuff. Okay, let's switch back out into Liberty, because Liberty needs that EXP. 
And plus we can get rid of the confusion and all that. I'm just explaining my strats as I go along. I refuse to mess up in this freaking Nuzlocke. I'm not gonna lose to something stupid. If I'm gonna lose a Pokemon, it's gonna be to something that's like unavail un unavoidable, that I can't handle. Do you know what I mean? It's like, ugh. Defense curl? Doesn't matter, bruh. Oh my god, and technically I can poison you, Jigglypuff. There's no fairy typing in this game, so yeah. Oh my god, by the way, what do you guys think of the new starters that came out? Oh no, you're gonna sing, dude. You Reptar, can you get a crit? So this thing cannot put you to sleep? Okay, that's fine. Oh, so Tora Cats? Absolutely amazing. I know people love the other starters and whatever, and people are hating because, oh, Tora Cat's gonna be, you know, it's gonna have two legs. Who cares? Do you see this design? Looks amazing. I love it. I don't care. I am such a fan of fire starters. I don't know what was the problem when people were hating on the fire fighting stuff. I loved Embor. I loved Infernape. I love Blaziken. If you don't love Mega Blaziken or Infernape, you're a freaking liar. Honestly. It was such great designs. Ooh, and there's an item over here, so let me grab that real quick. Pass orb? What the hell is a pass orb? I've never heard of that in my life. A mysterious orb containing the power of the universe reason. Oh, it's the stupid. It's the, um. Oh god, the entry link or whatever, or something like that. Hey, hey you, what was the first Pokemon you received? Bayleaf, really? Then Swallop can be a big help. Swallot. Bruh, we got a Swallot on the squad. Yo, okay. Oh my god, what do we name a Swallot? I'd never used one before. I'd never used a Swallot, guys. Never. Um... Oh my god, what the heck, what the heck do I name a Swalot? What? Um... Ooh, this music is nice! What the heck do I name- Okay, I'm sorry, wow, I'm drawing a blank here. What do I name a Swalot? Um... It's purple... Um... What's what are things that are purple? <laughs> I don't freaking know. It has like a like a mustache thing going on here. Kind of want to name you Mario, like Super Mario. <laughs> I, I listen every time I go with my gut feeling, it usually works out. I'm gonna go with Mario. This is Mario right here. <laughs> Yo. All right, so let's look at Mario. <laughs> oh my god. Look at these names. We got Reptar, Russia, Liberty, and Mario. Are you serious? And it's level 10 off the bat. It knows Poison Gas and Sludge. Oh my god, this could be great actually. With Liquid Ooze. So if someone used an Absorb attack, like Mega Drain or anything like that against me, they, I think they lose HP? How does that work? I, that's cool. Yo, we got a Swalot here. Okay. I think we can work with this. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, really quick before we end the episode. I know we're, go we're going on uh, half an hour already. But let's, um... I just wanted to see what encounter we could have gotten over here. Other than a freaking Chingling. Come on. I just want to know what we could have got. What kind of animation was that? What kind of animation was that? I'm running away from you. Wow, that really threw me off. My heart literally jumped out of my chest. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to heal. And I'm going to end the episode in the next episode. <laughs> Which is going to be up on Wednesday, I believe. I am going to... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we're going to take on our rival, and I think we're going to take on the gym leader and stuff like that. I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like down below if you did. That threw me off. That threw me off. <laughs> I am out of here. I'm not an ace trainer, but I'll see you next time. Bye.
here. I'm gonna put Red Tower right on the front though, because if we get an encounter, I don't want to destroy it immediately. I'm gonna miss this music though. It sounds so nice and tranquil, like nothing happens here. All right, so we are here. Let's do it. Oh shoot! Uh, okay, we're not getting an encounter. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's- oh, it's mom. Ace, it's your mom. How are things? You and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up the X, the cross transceiver now. I keep saying X transceiver, but it's not that. Ace, I finally caught up with you. Look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you would probably be headed for the strut into the city by now. I have another present for you, Ace. Try these on. Bruh! Give me those. When you're wearing the running shoes, you could go anywhere in a flash, and then I know the instructions, hold B to go, and stuff like that. Oh shoot, I just realized that items are randomized, so that item right there might not be a potion, it might be because something else. Can we get to this item? Max potion! Okay, give me that! I'm, I'm all for it. Alright, so... Alright, we're gonna look for an encounter now. I'm gonna turn away. First encounter is... Oh no, is that Chingling? <laughs> Yo, the reason why I turned my head is because, like, I like to test my, my Pokemon knowledge and stuff like that. Oh boy, a Chingling. Fantastic. Can we tackle this thing without killing it? We can. It knows rap. Stupendous. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. So I think one more tackle should bring it down with Please Don't Crit, Reptar. Control yourself. Thank you. And give me a Premier Ball, that is perfectly fine. And then we'll stock up on potions as well. And one more Pokemon off the bat. And we are flat broke, everybody. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the team to see what we are working with today. See, everybody's all leveled up here. We got Russia, we got Father Russia, level 8. Uh, same moveset, obviously, with Tackle, Withdraw, um, Absorb, and Razor Leaf. And we got Reptar, the Bay Leaf, with Tackle, Growl, Razor Leaf, and Poison Powder. So we're just gonna, yeah. The Nuzlocke started, we got potions, we got Pokeballs. I think we are good to go. I think we're raring to go. I just wanna get my encounter. I just wanna progress. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. <laughs> Let's have a little look see. Oh, this is, oh, I know what this is. Oh my god, Team Plasma, enter. Ace, come here a sec. I don't know what voice I'm gonna give Charon. I have no idea. Oh god, this is Getsis. Wait. Um. My. Wait, fuck. <laughs> I'm really bad. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. I am terrible with voice acting and all that. My name is Getsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners and have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are, wait, when they are our partners at work. Can, can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Alright, how's it going guys? I'm not an ace trainer. We are back for episode number two of our Pokemon White randomized Nuzlocke. You guys came through with the light goal and so we are here. We are here and we're just gonna go at it. We're going straight into this episode. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys leave a like down below as we go through this tutorial with Professor Juniper. Are you serious? Phone. Okay, we're back. The amount of people that call me on my house phone is Freaking ridiculous. So we start the tour. We already know what's going on here. Ew, wait for me. Like, oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was really elongated. Wow. Okay, it's absolutely free. Now, how does that work? I don't know if we wanted to get... I don't know if we want to get to... Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Do I have to? I want to talk about my team. I want to talk about... Because we did some training. Obviously, I told you we trained up... Russia. I want to call. I want to call it Mother Russia, but it's a boy. So, Father Russia. How does that work? Um. Oh God. Okay. So I'm gonna let you know right now. 
Um, I'm recording this the Thursday of Comic Con. Obviously, I'm not going. I'm going for the three day. If you guys don't know, there's a New York Comic Con happening that or that did happen in from October 6th to October something. I don't freaking know. I don't know dates. I don't know anything like that. But yeah, hopefully I had a good time because <laughs> I'm talking to myself in the future. Don't don't judge me. All right, so she says I have to go meet Fennel over in Stryton City and blah, blah, blah. What we do need to do is we need to stock up on Pokeballs because I'm going to let you guys know right now, we are getting another encounter in this episode. So let's... Ooh, we got Bank. All right, let's not do that. Let's get 10... Let's get 10. I'm trying to do an evil voice, but I really can't. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rock with it. I'm just gonna do it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are hum are different from humans. Pokemon are humans. What? Full of everything. <laughs> they are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from who we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is the responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right! We must liberate the Pokemon! Then, and only then, will human and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today to, by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. And just like that, these organized as fuck Team Plasma members go off and do their thing. Oh, shoot. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon, is that even possible? Oh, boy. Oh, my God. And then enter my boyfriend. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. This man right here. Him? He's my boyfriend. Fight me. <laughs> um, your Pokemon. Just now it was saying. Slow down, you talk too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna give him like, I'm gonna give him like a sonic voice. What's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name's Sharon, and this is Ace. We were asked to complete the Pokedex. We just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering, are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Ace is it. Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Yes! Give me this music! Rich Kid N. Oh boy. Yo, Curlia! We got a Curlia again! Curlias are haunting us. Alright, Russia. Let's go. So we got Trace. You Trace the Overgrowth. I don't think you have any grass type moves. That's not really gonna help you much. Um, I don't know what hits more. I'm not gonna underestimate this this Curlia real quick. Um, let me see. 20? 55. I think we're going with Razor Leaf. <laughs> Jeez. Let's do it. Uh, bye! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, Russia. You're clearly showing that you got the work. You can, you can do it, man. Can we... I was gonna say, can we get another level? I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. I'm gonna go really close to my spoink and talk. <laughs> as long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they are my friends. And he just leaves straight up. Huh, strange guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Shrides and City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. Best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Whoa, I'm Sonic, and I go fast. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. All right, so I see, I see this guy putting in the work.